sec. Why? <laughs> I had to test it. I had to test it. How was I supposed to know? Maybe I was 15, 50 hertz on my 144 monitor. <laughs> Your monitor. You don't live in Europe. In the 1990s. <laughs> I had to test it, okay? Don't judge. Oh, I'm judging you hardcore. <laughs> this is the easiest multiple choice question I've ever seen. <laughs> Do you live in Europe in 2005? Yes. Wait. Well, is this a trick question? This game includes disturbing content, so violence and gore, probably, I because I didn't a read trigger it. Trigger warning? Oh, this game's woke. Oh, this game's woke. Oh, this game's woke. Produced by Capcom. Can't believe they added a trigger warning to my early 2000s horror game. Full FMV? What? Is this Bloodborne? Lol. No, it's Lies of Pete. It's Lies of Pete. I need to get around to playing Lies of Pete. I've heard it's really, really good. I watched the Geek Enders podcast and I was just kind of like, oh. Yeah, I need to get. I played the demo. You might not actually play as Pinocchio. You might not actually play as Pinocchio, I don't know. I don't know, play I'll find out. You know, maybe you play as Geppetto. Yeah, I bet. Is that a gas mask? Gas mask. Yeah. This game takes place in, like, World War II era. We talk in 1940s? What do you think? That house just blew up. No. Oh, I bet this game took place in like 2006. 2003. 2003? Oh, I was three years off. Your first guess was 1940. <laughs> well, you know, that was a joke. But... <laughs> I was three years off when I made a realistic guess. Two thousand and forty. My bad. Yeah, it's a sci-fi game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clock Towers. It's in the same universe as uh, Alan Wake. <laughs> and Helsing, for some reason. Okay, but how funny would it be if we found out that uh, if we if we found out that uh, Premonition, Deadly Premonition, was, uh, Deadly Premonition was a part of the Alan Wake. Dude, I it believe like it. it. If, yeah, it's it still it's like got it that Twin Peak be. vibe. It's got that Twin Peak vibe. I feel. I would that. not be. Uh, I would not be surprised at all if the detective from Deadly Premonition like ran into Alan Wake during the game. We're just supposed to accept that now. You got that, Zach? It still bothers me to play it due to the fact that Zach? his his imaginary person is my name. <laughs> Zach. Zack is Wake Allen. He's Mr. Scratches. Oh, I'm Mr. Yep. Scratches, am I? <laughs> no, the other Zack. Oh, the other Zack. Gotcha. They could be the same got, person, you never know. I got grilled pretty hard today on information about you cross-dressing. Yeah, I was wondering why that got brought up. Uh, me too. I was in the freezer, she opened the door, and she's like, Zack cross dress? Like, yeah? On occasion. They happen, for sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, theater kid. Barbie and me, how she got that information. But yeah, I assume Grace. Ooh, I assume Grace. No, I mean. So what's your opinion on that logo? Is that a good logo? I like that logo. Well, honestly, it's like two steps away from Final Fantasy logo, so I'll give it a pass. <laughs> it, it, gets, it gets a pass. I mean, I like classic Clock Tower logo, but it gets a pass. I, I think it's better think... than Clock Tower 2 on the PS2's logo. Do you think 
the clock and the logo being one minute off from midnight is relevant to the plot. Or noon. I assume midnight because that's usually the more like, yeah, I mean, climatic it's time. Dark. <laughs> Nothing ever happens at noon. It's grim, dark, horror. Do you think that's like a hint at what's to come, or do you think that's just completely could the hands could be anywhere? What's your opinion? I think it? the hands could probably be anywhere. Otherwise, it's just an allegory or a metaphor to the whole or five minutes from midnight type deal, where it's like the world will end. Once it strikes midnight, you know that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does not wait long on the title screen. Lord. Why don't you click options? I should click options. You're right. That'll stop it from clicking off. <laughs> you know, you you could always try and be. Well, dad message. Well, what what does dad have to say? Day off. What's today? Is today Wednesday? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, my man. It's Wednesday. Holy shit, the week is, is flying. Today's straight up Wednesday, my man. I don't work tomorrow at all. I am Bro, straight I up vibing. I didn't even fucking notice. Well, well, luckily, we've got ourselves some Clock Tower 3 to vibe with. And then I, I I I managed to grab American Nightmare while it was on sale for two bucks. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, cool. When it was when the Black Friday sale was still going on, it is in fact ended now, and I didn't manage to pick up Warhammer <laughs> Martyr, which oh I'm you sure know, it will go on sale. Sleep. I'm sure it will go on sale again, <laughs> really soon. I think it's on sale but 90% I mean, of the time. I grabbed a uh, bundle of uh, Alan Wake, American Nightmare, and uh, Quantum Break. Okay, fair enough. So that'll leave Control like and Alan bucks. Wake 2. Yeah, Control I already owned like six times over on the PlayStation alone. Okay. So Control Control's already... T I have the PS5 version of Control, so it should be like... It should be smooth. Ray Tracing, the whole nine yards. Alan Wake 2, nobody owns because it just came out, and by the time we get to that, it'll probably be like a year from now. It'll yeah. probably be on sale by then. Yeah, probably. Do you think it's going to get Game of the Year? Has uh, that already passed? Uh, no. Game of the, 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 the Game Awards isn't until like December uh, 10th. Or 9th. It's like December 9th. So we got like a week or two. Yeah, we got like two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Fair enough. Or technically a week and three days. Yeah, fair enough. Week and a half. Week and a half. I hope Baldur Gate uh, 3 gets it. I think Baldur Gate 3 will get it because I think more... I think it had more of an impact. I think more people played slash watched people play it. That's fair. Alan Wake 2 I heard a lot of good things about, and I'm sure it's, it's very popular, but I did not see as Nearly many as people it. playing it, talking about it. I can go on to Twitter right now and see people still going on about... Baldur's Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, if Baldur's Gate 3 doesn't get it, I call shenanigans. It's rigged. I can tell you no one good. thing, it's not going to be Starfield. <laughs> You know, I bought it, I've downloaded it, and then I just refuse to actually open it. I'm sure it's fine, but the thing is, is that compared to, like, some other games that came out, it's not getting Game of the Year. No. Because at the, at the end of the day, the list. at the end of the day, it's Skyrim in space, yeah. which uh, is good. There's nothing uh, terrible about it, but I don't think it's Game of the Year material. Skyrim was game of the year in 2011. Time has passed since then. Fair, fair. You know? Fair. Yeah. The expectations have changed. Okay. But Bethesda still makes the one game. Yeah, this is true. But I did finally beat Skyrim. I did finally beat it. If if you could consider getting through the main plot beating the game, I've done it. <laughs> Pretty close as anybody can get. Alright. Um, as a side note, um, uh, 
I would like to let's play this blind, so I have started recording, if that's okay with you. You went ahead and asked me a question the minute I stood up and walked away. Oh, I figured uh, you had your headphones on. I'm sorry. No, I have my headphones on, but I couldn't answer you from across the room because uh -oh. my throat kind of it kind of hurts and I'm not going to scream, but I don't think you can hear me from under here. No, I can hear you perfectly fine. You just sound slightly more like Kermit the Frog. Hi, oh, uh, Kermit the Frog here. And we'll be playing Clock Tower 3. Yay! I'd like to go on record that I am usually averse to violence. However, we're playing Clock Tower 3. <laughs> Now, normally, now normally with the Clock Tower title, I would 100% agree we're opposed to the use of violence. However, this is Clock Tower 3, where if you're not opposed to the use of violence, I'll grab a shotgun. I don't care. <laughs> you don't know. The main character doesn't like violence. You don't know that. Well, maybe she doesn't. I don't know. You're right. I've never... Logan, tell me how much I know about Clock Tower 3. Oh, I thought similar. you were going to say in general, because uh, that's a trick question. <laughs> that is a trick question. Alright, well, let's go ahead and look at this opening. There's the clock tower. Yeah, that, that's the titular clock tower we can leave. Game's over. Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please, do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa! You're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me. Oh, we're just here now. Mum? I'm back. It's the scissorman. Is it? I think it's a whole lot of nothing. He's just really tiny. A big bear. He's, he's down there. He's all he's down like there. A mouse. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, he's scurrying. Oh, it's the guy from the opening cutscene. Um, it's Mr. Helsing himself. Are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, that's I'm not Alyssa, the voice I was Nancy's expecting. Daughter. No, I agree. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. So it's just you. Actually, no, that's exactly what I think that kind of guy would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me!
All right. And we're just in. Now you're in. Okay. So let me get this right. My mom told me to hide until I was 15 at a boarding school. To, from something. She called, question mark. We came back home. But it turns out she didn't call. Some random dude called. And our mom is dead? She, like, left to go shopping or something and died? Why did this random dude want us here? So what do you think about the controls? It's not exactly a point and click. It's not a point and click. Um, I... I actually might have to go through and adjust the controls. It would look as if the analog isn't set correctly. So, hold on a second. Yeah, there we go. Now the analogs are working. I don't know if the right analog's used for anything, but... Oh, we'll cross that oh. bridge when we get there, I suppose. Circle button crawl or crouch. Square does nothing, triangle does nothing, select. Cool. Pause goes to an item screen. This is a survival horror. The map. Um, files. No files yet. Triangle to go back on the screen. That's a weird one. Key items. Okay, so you need to go back to the screen. Nothing. Select to see weapons, but obviously I don't have any. And that's just this screen. And no room names, it would seem. Fair enough. At least none right now. L1 immediately goes to the map. R1 doesn't seem to do anything right now. L2 doesn't do anything right now. R2 doesn't seem to do anything right now. Clicking the analog sticks doesn't seem to do anything right now. And the D-pad doesn't. Light from the fire casts a reddish glow. Neat. So, what, what are your bets here? Alright. Do you think this is going to be better or worse than the struggle within? I think my interaction with the struggle within was a bit too unorthodox to make a comparison like that. I think it'll be better. The struggle within was pretty bad. Well, well I can't really say how bad it was because the version of it that I played was busted. That's fair. I don't... I, I, I remember not liking it that much. But it's also been years. I remember from... From what I can remember, excuse me. I remember the puzzles being extremely obtuse. And... Not that it was the game's fault. But I believe in order to emulate it, because it did... No, it did get an it got an American release, but emulating the game absolutely sucked. There was like audio glitches all over the place. And I don't know. I remember it not being that great, and I'm not gonna go back and see if I was right, <laughs> if my memory is correct. There. So I'm willing to die on that <laughs> that mountain. So am I supposed to be finding this lodger guy? Assumedly. Yeah. Crawling towards what I assume is a save point. Diary lies open with an incomplete entry. You can save your game here. Do I do? Found 
That is an extremely grating sound effect. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look at getting the uh, memory card saved notifications to not appear in the top. Because it actually captured that. <laughs> yeah, as it turns out, I'm emulating this too. A strange pattern adorns the jar. It is brimming with fresh water. Cool. Doesn't appear there's anything to look at on that table. Hmm. I will try the story. Nothing of interest here. I yeah, will the try next time. this door, I think. The next time you save, we can uh we can solve that real quick. Yep. Uh so what yep. do you think about the name Alyssa? Uh, definitely Silent Hill vibes. Unfortunately, the Silent Hill franchise has ruined the name Alyssa for me. Well, Clock Tower 2, the struggle within the main character was also named Alyssa. See? That's silly. There's a lot of artworks and antiques. What are the chances? Because I guarantee, like, these were not in development at the same time. And I almost guarantee this was an entirely different team who probably didn't even know the struggle within existed. Used to collect all kinds of things. Grandfather's room, he's not here right now. It's been three years since he left. When is he coming back? So he's not the random lodger. Is this just some random dude who's popped up into the house? It's locked. All guests from this point forth that opens up. Well, she, she didn't seem to know him. Yeah, she didn't seem to know him, but he was just like, your mom's dead, and also, I, I've i been waiting for you here. But how does he know who we are, <laughs> question mark? You know, I should just leave. Just need to go out now. I that have is to find pretty mom. spooky. But didn't... Wait, I have to find mom. I shouldn't go out now. Didn't he say that mom isn't here? I mean, I guess we, we shouldn't just take his word Why for it. Why would we believe him? Yeah. He's a weird man that we know nothing about. He's just some random ass dude. That's fair. And I'm only a 15 year old girl. 14. Oh, I've ha I haven't i have turned 15 yet. No, you came back before you were supposed to. See, should have just stayed. Nothing of interest here. Philip. I li I'm sorry, I like how it's all shiny and shit. Philip. 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 And this one's. Oh, this is my room. I should go inside. Not a speck of dust. Mom has. Cl must have cleaned it for me. Desk is nice and tidy. My room, nothing's changed. Is that an Azotl on the bit? No, that's an angel. And possibly Hello Kitty. I can't tell. It looked like an Azotl at first. I was kind of confused. It's locked and will not open. Isn't that my dresser? Question mark? TV doesn't work. Maybe it's not plugged in properly. Lavender water. There's just a rabbit. <laughs> Once again, another connection. Just some random rabbit in Alessa's room. Huh? Silent Hill 3? Nah. Hello? Is anyone in here? Hello? Fire burns in the hearth. Locked. Lodgers won't be coming back for a while. Excuse me? 
random glowing rune on a door. That's rough, buddy. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know what I was expecting. Panic meter. Whenever Alyssa is feeling physically or emotionally threatened, the panic meter rises. When the panic meter reaches max, Alyssa falls into a state of panic. While in a state of panic, Alyssa's movements are restricted, and if attacked while in the state of panic, she will die. Panic meter reading will go down slowly if Alyssa relaxes in a safe place. Always keep an eye on the panic meter and try to minimize stress whenever possible. So that's generally good advice. Yeah, you know what? Keep an eye on your own panic meter. I'll try. There's a big blue sigil preventing entry. Probably shouldn't touch that again. Yeah. Well, the whole lightning bolt. That's accurate. Excuse me. Jazzy Zelda theme right there. When you click on a switch in Zelda, it's like bom 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 bom. Very jazzy. Okay, that's fair. I, uh, my my mind actually went to the, like the original Tomb Raiders. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. So I'm looking at the game manual. Uh huh. And I'd like to point out that it has that guy labeled as the Dark Gentleman. The Dark Gentleman. Yeah, that is a snazzy name. A hidden room. Who would have thought it was here? <laughs> Mom? Hello? Weeping angels? Is Wrong this again. Doctor Who? Oh, it dropped something. Spooky. Specifically, its head. That looks like a bottle and a letter. Sacred bottle? You see, my stress meter would already be maxed right now. It's... It, you, don't lie, your stress meter is already maxed. Nancy's letter. Dearest Alyssa, I wanted nothing more than for you to live peacefully. But if you are reading this now, you must have come back to the house. For your protection, I am giving you some advice, as well as instructions on how to use this bottle of holy water. Holy water uses. 1. Exorcism. If ever you are threatened, sprinkle some holy water on your assailant. It will cause them to halt temporarily. 2. Destroying sigils. How convenient. I just ran into a blue-ass sigil. To break the seals that prevent access to certain places, sprinkle holy water on them. Replenishing holy water. Always remember that holy water you have is not limitless supply. You can refill your bottle from either a sacred jar or lion drinking fountains. Sentimental items and spirits. A person who has died of unnatural causes and unfinished business in the living world. In order to protect yourself, you must work to heal their wounds. To do so, you must find their sentimental items. Lastly, this is all my fault, but I will do my best to protect you. Please remember that I love you more than anything else in the world, and I always will. Mom. So is this game, going from place to place being haunted by ghosts, and just trying to find an item that will appease them so that they'll pass on? Is that what this game is? Mayhaps. This just sounds like Echo Knight with extra steps. Echo Knight was Echo Knight with extra steps. You know what? That is accurate, actually. <laughs> Not a bad game, though. I really well, From Software is bringing back all their classics. So they obviously, made a new Armor Core game. We're gonna get that. Echo Can't Knight wait for Echo Knight, Knight Four. Four? Four. Oh yeah, it would be four. The third one was in space. Three wasn't it? <laughs> was in space. It was on a space station. Echo Knight three in space. Yeah, I need to get around to playing the other ones. 
I'm, unfortunately, the second one's Japanese only, so I'm going to have to learn Japanese in order to do it. It's just how it is. <laughs> I actually wasn't expecting that to work. <laughs> However, I will go ahead and save real quick before I go in there. I say that because I didn't know what button it was going to be. That was the triangle button. There we go. Alright, well, I can't actually tell if 30 minutes are passed, because I think we spent a solid 5 to 10 minutes talking at the beginning of this. <laughs> Just sitting on the title screen. Which is perfectly fine. I'm gonna say 30 minutes has been up, so thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode where we will continue the game and actually, like, make progress other than, like, five minutes worth. So, see you all then.